This podcast is rated G for general audiences. All ages admitted. Mission to John, are you recording? Uh, yes. Let me well, ask again, John. Let it, me ask it, you one more time, what John. Did I check. Are you recording? Yes. yes do I you see, see the, I the see bar. The lines. You do. Is I the see thing the bar red? As I talk. Is it the right moving. bar? Do you have more than one yes. bar on your screen? No, I have just one? one bar. I have just one bar. And just I see my voice pattern right. as I talk. It's awesome. Wow. This look at that. The, uh, you know, the on yeah. button. That's right. Welcome to the Mission 250 Filmcast, guys. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you, Jenny. This is why we're doing it, isn't it? Welcome to you for too. this. <laughs> for what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why we do this. In I say we just skip the movie entirely. We just talk about John's movie. weird walk down a strange, wet hallway to a shitty sound yeah. booth. That's what we should talk <laughs> that's about. That's right. <laughs> why is the floor yeah. wet? Don't ask questions. Go don't to the wood box, John. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Just share the story. Just, That's quiet. all you want to do. Don't worry. The good thing about the blowers is they're really loud, and so then you can edit that sound out really easily. <laughs> if you have oh, one really loud, man. constant yeah, sound. Yeah, just one chunk. The, just the noise can, gate. Just really high noise gate. And just exactly. really make your own voice sound digital fact, and weird. We think of it as sort of a sound wash because you edit that out of your sound because it's and, so nasty and loud and singular that when you edit it out, everything sounds so clean. That's great. Because it's <laughs> muted. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. I have no idea. Speaking but of anyway. muted, we're watching well, a silent watching? movie this year. This, oh, yeah, exactly. this episode, 1936 is the year. Is Modern this last show? It sure was. Now there's one more. One more. What do we got? This is the left? second best silent film ever made, according to the people that watch movies that are around and still alive these days, which is very odd oh. because everyone that was alive when this movie came out is definitely is dead. dead. Oh, Yet yeah. people still 100%. vote this. Not to, all right. So anyway, it is my turn to go first this year. But this movie is the last tramp movie. It's a Charlie Chaplin movie, written, directed, and scored by Chaplin right. himself. Did, I, I noticed that too. I was we surprised. can talk about that. It's not entirely he did accurate. The music, yeah, oh. he didn't really, but mm. he kind of. Oh, why? What did he do? He, he just lied. Uh, he doesn't know how to read or write music, but he did oh. sing. He he came up with the melodies, and they had uh, assembly musicians back then. So like he would go and show them the film and be like, "All right, for this one, I want like a whatever he did." Be like, and they just right. sing it, and they're like, and they're right, like "All right, it, cool." Right, check. And yeah. then they did like yeah. the whole composition, and then for the slower parts, he would like slow his little singing voice down. So, I mean, all right, it's I mean, something that counts. Yeah, yeah, kind of. But I don't know. Yeah, he didn't really play any of the instruments or write any of the. No, but he is the star. So but you he's know, the star. He's the, the most the, famous uh, person they, ever. Yeah, right. Yeah, you just get it by by default. He was huge. At the time, still, everyone these days, uh, I grew up knowing true. what he looked like, right? Uh, that's kids true. these that's days true. might oh, yeah. still also grow up. I mean, I'm pretty sure that like. my whole childhood, when I heard Hitler, I just saw him. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Why is Hitler head. so funny? Because like, I didn't was. know who you Hitler thought was. Hitler was this guy know? who fell down a lot. Yeah. Every time I thought, anytime I heard Hitler be mentioned as I was going into school, I just, I just saw He was, like, he was hilarious. Yeah. yeah. They look the same. That's a good guy. Yeah, why does everyone hate him so much? He seems funny to me. <laughs> He's pretty funny. I like it when he gets bonked in the head. It makes me laugh. Yeah, yeah, he right. He makes good, that little, he a good head dude, a little jiggle with his nose. Yeah, yeah. They don't think yeah. that's funny. Good. Yeah. His yeah. feet are all duck footed and he walks around like an idiot. It's good stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> all right, my turn to go first. Uh, go, Denny. Tell us what you think of this masterpiece. God, guys, I don't know, man. I kind of don't want to go first. Do you guys have positive things to say in this movie? No. I let the kids watch it. They were mildly amused. Mildly amused. Okay. Yeah. It was like, you know, they enjoyed the slapstick that occasionally was there. The yeah. corn was funny. The corn yeah. was, the, I, dude, the corn I, was the funniest I laughed part. hysterically. Yes. I, I couldn't stop. When, I, I when it went that yeah. one last time, yeah. Yeah. I was like, the way oh, it yeah. kept going, and it was like, all right, it's done. And it's like up on his nose. And it was just and like, it did, yeah. time. And then uh, it went so aggressive at yeah. the end. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah. It, yeah, it was I agree. Yeah. The, the corn, the corn was was I think <laughs> the, the best highlight. It is the, the movie. best part yeah. of the movie, and yeah. it's really yeah. close to the beginning. And yeah. the I rest know, of it should have spaced seemed that one out. So stupid to me, honestly. Like mm-hmm. I thought all the comedy was so stupid I, and I, simple. You know, the, and I, yeah. I was just like, people still like this. We have yeah, so why? much better stuff than this. It's like walking into a wall 10 times, getting hit in the head 50 times, slipping and, like, and falling. Oh, like, you can walk through right. a this crowd is the three with stooges. a fucking... This is right. yeah, literally the three You can walk through stooges. a crowd with your fucking hand up. Like, great. Yeah. And there was the the one time, like, with the corn where the repeating of the gag is works, 
but it felt Cause like because it, it, it amped it up more and more. I know. And I thought because it, it was old, yeah. it was going to stop, but it didn't. Right, right, it kept right. going. But there, throughout the film, it felt like with a lot of the gags, there was a repetition of them that didn't escalate. That just was the same thing mostly, and that that I think was sort of. It, it just felt like it felt like there were lots of parts that just went on a lot longer than they oh, needed yeah. to. Oh yeah, then they need the joke um, had ended in the first thirty right, seconds. Right, right. So here we, we saw were a minute it. and so a half seeing in. it more or seeing it again. Yeah. The ice, the, the roller skating was really good though. The, that's where the kid, the Who kids cares? also really loved that. Where where he's about to fall <laughs> on the edge though. <laughs> I'm it wasn't you, that I, impressive. I, he's I like know, he's this fifty care. year old man roller skating yeah. against a fake cliff that wasn't even there. Right. And it wasn't yeah, even, I mean, you he had was to, going you had backwards. to think there was nowhere yeah. near the edge. Yeah, he was right. nowhere yeah, that, near the edge. Fair. And you could, I don't fair. know. Like the whole thing was just like this is a highlight of this movie. What the fuck? We've we progressed so far from here. Come on. My five year old really liked it, so that was his favorite. Okay, he was like, whoa. Yeah, so. <laughs> well, Alex hasn't seen shit yet for movies. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. I know. I yeah, know. yeah. You tell him. <laughs> you you tell leave him, my Danny. boy alone, man. <laughs> no, that, that's nah. honestly great. I'm glad that like I, I know, it's kind of universal yeah. enough where like kids can right. still enjoy this. Stuff, it's very so. yeah, exactly. It is. It's, it's a pretty good, get, pretty good film to show your kids. It, I mean, but but really, it did. It did. Yeah, it just went on and on. Even though it's a short film, it really felt like these parts were very long. It and, felt so and, long. Um, the, it was the, tough too because I just didn't right. care about the character. Right. Yep. The great dictator at moved all. at a lot better clip. Like, who right. cares? I thought yeah. the same thing, John. Like I wasn't too hot on the great dictator, but at least there were like I thought the the dancing parts were better. Like the yeah. the globe and dancing things moved was better. At a better clip too. Right. It wasn't, it wasn't there was a better out. plot too. Yeah, like, there even was, there didn't was always hit, but yeah. like this one, right, I didn't right. give a shit for two no. seconds. No. Yeah, I know. I agree. No. And even, the, and even the his overly singing, his singing, like like he I didn't did get the it. one verse. There was clapping yeah. at the end, it. and I was like, "Why was that good? Why? Why? I, I don't thought know. that. Why are you clapping? Like, yeah. what was good about what I was funny? It's not funny. It's not. There's funny. not even anything funny. Why are they laughing? Yeah, his stupid know. face. I guess he has a yeah. That, that's kind of yeah. But anyway, anyway, Denny, uh, go on, please. I was just like throughout. Like I thought the food thing was funny. And uh, I think yeah, yeah. So I was kind of like, was like feeding yeah. him when he was feeding him in the face, and he's like got the egg all over him, and he's trying to push it in I his didn't mouth. I think that was that uh, good. That was I was annoyed right. by that. I was just, was, I don't know. That was a little funny. Again. I was afraid he was going to die. He was like rolling through giant. That cogs. was true. I think at the time, some of that must have been. I mean, I the, the machinery was impressive, and even like the the video, the guy like coming in on the video, that might have been some pretty high tech stuff back oh, it in was. the day. Yeah. Um, but this movie was late on the sound. Bringing sound yeah. into movies had been done in the 20s, and this right. was, you know, 36. Right. So, so this was right. late. But to it, the still, game. it still looked good. Like the superimposition of the video, like the guy. It looked, it looked actually the, really good. Yeah. 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 And then the machinery looked really good. Yeah. Like it was so, really I mean, clean. Like the, the yeah. images mm -hmm. were really clean. And the sets yes. looked clean. You know, not a dusty film, given how old it is. That's right. impressive. And the camera didn't move that much. You know, like old movies, mm -hmm. like. No, I think the kid, there the was camera one was like impressive, bouncing a lot. There was one impressive move where it like it dollied with him and like moved it left. Uh, the cop was, it was right when the cop came over to him. There when, he was, when he was chasing the, the larger woman. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yep. uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, he was going scene. to apply a wrench mm -hmm. to her breasts. He, he, saw, <laughs> yeah. he saw octagons <laughs> and he wanted to screw them with his wrenches. Yes. Oh man, um, it was so stupid, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, but yeah, again, the repetitive nature of this film, like he got, you know, when you're talking about, oh, when the cop was there, it's like, well, what? He got, yeah, put exactly. The Wh which like part? Every single scene times? has a cop at the end. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. The one where he's got the cigar. Uh, he's like, oh, give me a, yeah. That was, yeah, yeah. I thought fine. that was funny. It was yeah, fine. That was funny. Yeah. Yeah. yeah was. He's like going there. He's taking everything for free, giving away the yeah. gum. And he's like, yeah, I'm already <laughs> he's, going he's already into jail. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well right. give the store away. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, but a lot of these bits were just dumb bits. That's the thing that I thought, like the story was, was just yeah. bit to bit to bit to yeah. bit. And like none of it really mattered. And it was just to show off the little like do 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 slapstick shit. And that's fine. But like, you know, 25 minutes could have been great. I would have been okay. But hour and a half. Oh boy, man. That's a long fucking time to watch that movie, man. Yep. Uh, and like you get that weird like we dialogue every once in a while, you didn't and you're hate like, it, right, ah. uh, I was, I was, I was giving it respect because I was like, I know this is an old one. I know this is like one that I've heard about from people before. I should just watch it for like you know, to film see eyes, it. Why not? just to yeah, see right, it, right, and to yeah. think it through. And I got like you'd have to remind yourself that's what you're doing every 
11, 12 minutes <laughs> if you're going to get through a half an hour because yeah. it's just not much going on. If the bit isn't good and it doesn't land for you, you're bored. That's right. what and and the bit is going on for a while. So there's like right. five minutes or so per bit yep. kind of yep. where you're and just if it doesn't to, land for you, then you're just watching something. You're that gonna seems wait dumb. for that one to end. Yeah. yeah. And from what I've seen, like there are people in this world that are still alive that think this stuff is like the best stuff that's ever been committed to film still. Hmm. Like the commentator, the guy who made a documentary, a separate guy. There's like a lot of special features on this. There's a whole clan of people that think Chaplin is <laughs> like the best. It's a cult. It's a cult. It's a whatever cl- you want to call it. Sound it. Like one. Yeah. yeah. It could be a personal taste, but like, I don't know. <laughs> it's like the Three Stooges. Like, I guess some people like the Three Stooges, but most of those people are dead now, you know, because like there's better hmm. stuff and it doesn't hit anymore. But I feel like the people that focus on this is the best stuff of all time. They're probably lonely people. I don't know. <laughs> Is that an assumption? <laughs> it's not fair. I, I, I think yeah, that's a, a fair style. assumption. I don't know. I, I think that's know. a fair <laughs> assumption. So we have to Up like, on my yeah. side, TC. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we don't need right. about right. it. Come yeah. on. Okay, it's Come on. Yeah. Those These people are, are fucking not my people. people. Okay? I'm pretty sure it's yeah. true. These are people that I am not yeah. friends with and nor would be and, you know, no. disregard on a consistent basis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, John. I'm just joking. Okay. <laughs> I'm joking, bot. The bot I'm is recording us. I'm joking. We're joking, bot. Yeah. Now the bot doesn't care. Bot's neutral. Wait till we get the notes on it. We'll see what it says about right, itself. Yeah, oh, God. Yeah, classify each host. Yeah. And I meet geek. <laughs> um, uh, anyway. But I mean, and I also find it, found it weird how this movie was like so controversial at the time. It was the movie that got him eventually uh, exiled from the United States. Right, it, it, it like made him look like he had communist sympathies, I guess, because or it was just like anti-labor or no, not anti-labor, but anti-corporation, like corporation, yeah. I guess. Do you think that could be because you can't hear anybody talk? And you can misconstrue what you're seeing, maybe? No, it's because they, they want you to sympathize with the workers. And at the time, they wanted right. the workers oh, to be true. like at, right. under the thumb of the government. And all that. Right, right, right. right So the right, idea of right. like showing, you know, it, it, was stri- it was a striking image. I don't know if that's the first time that's been done. Um, but the people as sheep scene was a striking image. And if that hadn't been done before, that's kind of, that's an impressive sort of thing. And it really is making a statement, right? But the film meanders so much now, it doesn't really feel like it, it's got any depth to it. So it doesn't really feel like it's making any kind of statement. And it, there's no and depth to the characters or anything. So it doesn't. Making a yeah. statement. Oh, okay. By all accounts, you know, like they, you can easily, I could see how the government could twist a lot of the images and stuff in this movie. Sure. For their own, you know, right, means right. or whatever. But idea, it's like, well, it's, it's sort of suggesting that there might be a lot of corporate greed and that people are being taken advantage of and we can't have that. Right. But Chaplin uh, grew up poor. So this is really right. just like him writing about his experiences, you know? So that was basically it. So it comes off true and negative because it is true. You know, he wasn't trying to do anything mm. political. He was just trying to like write a true story. Mm. Yeah. And we can get into the history of how this movie came about. It's kind of a, a mix of two things. The ending is an interesting choice. You know about the alternative ending? Um, oh, was there? No, I don't no, know. I don't yeah. know about that. No, yeah. I mean, I, I just, it's interesting that they decided they wanted her, them to go off on the road together without the job, when, without everything working out. They so changed it. They a did a, a different ending. They filmed it. They were in the middle of editing the original ending and they started screening it and people did not like it because it was oh, wow. really, really what dark. Was, what was the original? Oh, oh wow. the original ending was really dark. Really what? dark. Someone, oh, really? Interesting. Yeah. And they had to, they actually re edited the film. Oh wow! Well, we'll okay. let's save that. Let's save that for trivia. Huh? Save that for trivia. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay. I was. I was just surprised it didn't end happy, given that it is how happy. silly it was. You don't think it was happy? happy? What do you mean? They walk happy. off together in the fucking sunset. I know they have no job though. They're but bro, they'll be fine. Means, yeah. yeah. But they're together. You, don't need you know. Anything. But they're together. Right. Yeah. That's all they care Ray. about. Ray. That's all I thought it was. I thought it was really nice. The ending. Okay. I didn't really care, but I was like, oh, okay. Not sad. I think. What I had done was I had tuned out for like the last five, ten minutes before that, you know, and then I had I came to and looked and it was like them almost off screen, you know, and it was like they're walking away from the camera and and you're like fantastic. And I was like, oh, that's good. uh, Nice. Okay. I'm happy. I'm happy. The movie is over. Yes. You know what's great is I got a little bit of time before they get a start and I'm uh, gonna do some more work, you know. (laughs) Nice. You just watched it today? Yeah. Oh yeah. Last minute. Yes. Cramming right before the test. So oh, it's yeah. fresh, you know. I mean, it's good for me because my brain is right now, you know. <laughs> yeah, see? I don't take fresh. notes on these fucking movies, so, like, I would have forgot if That's... I didn't. <laughs> this movie yeah. is pretty forgettable. I was watching the commentary track, mm. and I was like, I don't even know what's going on right now. I don't even care. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. 
I know. And some of the um, text that was on screen was strange. Like, the pacing was weird. There'd be like a card would come up and it would say something. There'd be one shot and then a new card would come out. Totally different direction. And it would be like, where are they going with this? Scholars have been but arguing just, over the meanings of those title it cards. Was just, since yeah, it was the just, I, I, it was oh just to God. get to the next bit. It was it. Yeah. Nope. It's because Chaplin is a fucking genius, dude, and he wants you to think about it for a hundred years. Uh, that's why. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Better believe it. Nah, I don't think that's true. Nope. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was just bad editing, yeah. and now people yeah, just yeah, like put him on a pedestal, yeah. and they're yeah. like, we have to think about this. Because it's good for the movie industry, everyone. It's good for us. Yeah. I'm getting yeah, hired right. to do a commentary track, and I've done nothing except write yep. a book about Chaplin. That's right. Hey, That's right. fuck it. Make money is making money. Hey, go it's for it. It's all part of the job. You have to have a British accent, though, <laughs> so we're all fucked. Uh, hey. You have to sound like a snooty bastard is what you have to do. I watch a lot of commentary Harvard, tracks, guys. Don't, don't question me, I TC. Don't you I watch all the fucking right. commentary tracks. I know you're right. I know you're right. Let it go. You do. <laughs> Let it go. Okay. Okay. I'm saying you're right. It's okay. I mean, I'm, just I'm not letting shit go, hard. John. Hey. Fuck you. Hey, look. All right. I know is I know more than you do. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say is fuck you. I'm right. <laughs> I just think you're, you're scarred for life because of, I think there's going to yeah. be all kinds of incidents when you have, if you have children and, yeah. and you're, they're going to bring up some kind of film commentary and you're just going to go off the well, wall on them, them and yeah. they will not understand what there's the fuck gonna is going There's going to be a new on. cartoon when I have kids. It's going to be called Peter Cowie. He's going to be a cow. They're like, Peter Cowie. No. <laughs> remember Peter Cowie? Yeah, right. The commentator. Oh yeah. I remember Peter Cowie. <laughs> That's right. He's the worst. Yeah. yeah. Richard Schneckel and Peter Peter Cowie. Those names are burned <laughs> into my head because I've listened to like yeah. six commentary tracks each from those guys. Oh, Bruno Luckily, this guy man. was a new one, but still, he wasn't great. Still. Basically, I wouldn't recommend this to people unless you're interested in, you know, really looking at movie history. Like, I feel like there's a scale. Like, I like to think of movies as a scale between the first film ever, which was the, the horse running, right? There's a horse right. running and it goes all the way, in my opinion, to 2001 Space Odyssey, where you just have this movie that I don't think will ever age you know, because it hasn't yet. And this is all my opinion. But everything before 2001 Space Odyssey seems aged to a certain extent. And it's kind of all like, is it worth watching still? Is there like enough unique in this movie that it did it like the best still where it's worth watching? And this movie mm. is like like a long, highly produced Three Stooges episode right? where people are trying to draw meaning out of it. Because Charlie Chaplin was the most famous person in the world at the time. Well, and it's because it's about the depression. So it's, you know. That too. But still, I think that that adds like, even though the movie itself doesn't, doesn't have any depth to it, just because of that, because it depicted workers like sheep and, and, and some of those images, I think that that seems to give it like more significance to maybe... I mean, I thought it was supposed to be a real commentary or something as I watched it. That's why when yeah. I started to, when I sat down to watch it, I was like, oh, okay. I mean, you know, he had the great dictator, which is obviously, you know, very hard to, hard to miss how that's a commentary, right. you know, but, um, but yeah, this one was so like sort of empty other than showing mm -hmm. poverty, I guess. But yeah. But then even then everything was just so shallow and comical. It didn't really seem to hit very it hard. It didn't land. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. What did you guys think? <laughs> I mean, I didn't, I didn't dislike it only because there's, there's quite a bit of production going on yeah. in this, you know, there's, it's definitely a smooth looking 1930s film. I mean, yeah, there's some concepts know? that are cool. Like, like yeah. the automated eating machine and they've got a record that plays. So like even its instructions are like automated, like, and that, that right, seems very right. forward thinking, you know? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's true. Like they're going to put on a record and stand back as, as so that the machine sort of sells it, you know? Pitches it sells own. itself, right, 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 and and yeah. that, that all I was could think cool. it wasn't necessarily. I mean, it seemed like they were doing it because he had never done a talkie before, and he he mm. didn't want to introduce talking until the very end of the movie. So like, it was just a means of like not making people on it screen. Was, yeah, talk. right. It was a way to give well, some maybe. exposition and some like setup without having to uh, actually have dialogue. But I, I mean, I I still enjoyed it, but again, it feels like even those things are like skits. That's like, oh, they've got an automated food machine, and there's that's like a skit. That's probably the best skit of the movie mm -hmm. is, is the whole sequence around mm -hmm. the automated food machine. Yeah. Um, but I do I, like. I, I mean, it was earlier, cool. Yeah. It spun. Yeah. It did these things. It pushed the food. Yeah, in. It worked. I mean, I mean, the the yeah. the, the the machines themselves worked. were. Yeah, the machines were cool. And and the what other I didn't machines, understand is like, yeah. what are they gonna do? Uh, like, how are they gonna 
quote unquote keep working with that thing around right. their yeah. neck. Yeah, it doesn't really understand. stop you, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, right. You, know, you still got to stop. Well, to you eat. see him; he already does the motions without even like yeah, thinking about it. So he true. just keeps yeah. doing them underneath the machine. Underneath. I guess so. yeah, Jesus supposedly. Christ! <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah. Again, the clockwork mechanisms were cool. Those looked like I mean they were pretty neat. But again, even with the scenes with those things went on a long time. Like the guy getting stuck in there went on forever. Oh it yeah, was pretty he's feeding him. Funny. But but you it, it was went funny? on quite a long time. Well, I thought it, I, some of it was funny. I you liked thought, it when yeah. he patted him on the back of the head and the egg shot out of his mouth. You like that? Uh, it was bad. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I was more thinking when he shoves a fork in his mouth. <laughs> you liked it when he poured the coffee down the center of the whole chicken. Was that good? Yeah, that, was, that was stupid. Yeah, I, I, that was Alex, stupid. Alex thought that was pretty funny. He liked. Although that. the that football was... with the chicken was funny. When they were oh, when he was running through the yeah, the yeah when he's playing yeah right when he was he's actually the pretty good at dodging around. like everybody oh yeah he's like whoop 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 yeah. and they got away yeah it was good yeah oh yeah that was good again the, the waiter sequence was kind of fun where he's holding it again it just went on for a lot longer it than went it on needed forever to. and the old guy the angry old guy that just kept staying angry and it never really had any reason or rhyme or like there was nothing to it but they kept showing him and you're they, like, they did like okay. over they did like three sequences of it which again you could have one and that would have been that would have been okay enough and you move on. Uh, but yeah, so it was. But they had again, to get all those people in a big old crowd and move them uh, all around. I mean, it probably seemed kind of cool at the time. Oh but, yeah, it still seemed cool initially, uh, but then it's like at, at that point the movie. Can I was you imagine them rehearsing annoyed. that? Uh, yeah, it, it was a pretty it's tightly packed cool. crowd. It was a lot of people. People yeah. must have been laughing. Like yeah, I, I mean, it, it was pretty cool. It, it's just by that time I'd, I was annoyed with the movie. It's like you're gonna, yeah. I, I knew it already. You're gonna do this like five times. Oh, oh yeah, for everything. Like, like, yeah, so they're gonna show all the cool things that they got, which yeah. then makes it so annoying to keep you. In. Yeah, it's it's weird. Uh, yeah, I was starting to have that reaction. Oh, that's cool. Oh shit, that means you're gonna do it like five more times. <laughs> like ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> that's all I got. That's all I got. I don't know. There's not much else. There was a nose powder in this movie. That was kind of, I was surprised. That seemed racy. A little cocaine in the movie. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. didn't even know, like, yeah. It took me a second to figure that out. Yeah, that was that was a little unusual. Uh, for maybe probably the first cocaine scene in a film. No. Apparently it was no. a big thing back in the 30s to make fun of people doing oh. cocaine. Oh, yeah. Okay. So As were, if they yes. weren't the ones doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it wasn't <laughs> illegal yet. Yeah. So Sure. The stomach gurgling scene really confused me. I didn't know what yeah, the what fuck was, was going about? on. Was I that just say, his though, stomach I will bubbling? Say, that was it. The audio there was really good. Was like, it? It made me. It made me. Unco- well, I was listening to it in my headphones. It made me uncomfortable. And that's a like good thing. The, the gurgle, the gurgling, made me uncomfortable. I think it was supposed to be funny, is what I think it was. And supposed I, I've to got be. you know, and I'll, 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 uh, truth be told, again, this was another me watching my iPhone right movie, which is fine. That's like, fine. Who cares? But but I'm I'm using my. I have the spatial audio. Right, so oh, I've got yeah. the phone on my nice. stomach nice. with the earbuds, and I'm thinking first something's wrong with my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> it no got you. It got you good. Oh, it wow. did. So wow. that, 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 that did you rip your headphones it. out with your eyes over? Like, oh fuck, am I gonna <laughs> shit like, where I'm sitting? Well, uh, right, right, <laughs> exactly. It was it was disturbing. <laughs> so you know, kudos for the movie there for having some pretty accurate stomach noises along with the spatialness of it. That that's, worked out really well. That's really funny. Yeah, but yeah, it's and then and again they did that <laughs> I didn't like care. ten times. TC didn't care. The John thought yeah. he was going to shit himself. So that's that's what that <laughs> so scene that's, did. It makes Something. it all worth it. Yeah, this movie was terrifying. <laughs> but then again, of course, they do that like ten times after that. So anyway, I was confused by the whole scene since there was like no, I, I couldn't tell who was supposed to be having the gas. I didn't either. Yeah. Mm, yeah, right. Him. Exactly. At first I thought it was her. Then I thought it was him. And then she I just, just didn't it to react over. enough for it to make any sense. Right. And then he turned the, the radio on for it to be like to overcome it. But then it was about like gas medication and that was embarrassing. So we'd rather yeah, right. have right. the gas noise be loud. I don't I didn't I get any of it. Yeah. I mean, fart humor. And maybe it was oh, better well, then than it is. I mean, it's still funny, but not when it's confusing. Not this time. Hard when you don't know what's going on. Do you think it was like he was trying something out and it was like, wow, that didn't work. And they were like, well, we've got to show it anyway. They edited yeah, a yeah. lot of stuff out of this movie. They oh, shot they a lot. Yeah. They edited a lot. They reconstructed the movie. So like whatever was in here really had a long time for them to say yes to it. Oh, wow. Did they have a script or did, did they have like a subtle yes. script or was there a lot of improvising? Oh, no. So, so. so the way he used to do it. So it, it came out later because like he was pretty secretive about his whole process. Mm. Um. Because, like, he didn't want to ruin the magic and stuff. So, like, he mm. didn't do interviews. He didn't allow, like, on-set, behind-the-scenes shooting. He, he like, hired Jeez. personal people to take, like, specific shots behind the scenes and stuff. Um, mm. There were, like, 700 stills 
from this movie that were all like personally vetted and everything else is burned. There's only like one extra oh, wow. scene in this movie Jesus. that exists that was edited out because it didn't make sense narratively, but it was one of Chaplin's favorite scenes that he's ever done. So it exists. It involves him crossing the street. So you can like see that, but everything else was burned. Hmm. Wow. So what he used to do is they used to, I don't know, John, if you were asking it because you sounded like you knew before the Great Depression, they used to go into the studio and because everything was so cheap then. And like money went a long way where they would just go in and improvise and come up with ideas and then go and shoot the idea like a famous rock band might write a song in a studio sort of right, thing. Yeah, you know, like you like have all live, the flexibility yeah, right. in the world to just like right, right. spend right. Like a week You're the Rolling on a song. Stones, you're just going to rent the whole house right. for the weekend and everybody's going to get drunk and you're just going to play. And just do it over and over again until you get it perfectly right. So that's what yeah. he used to do. But then the Great Depression happened and that forced him to do a lot more pre-production they had like oh. 200 and I think it was 270. I'll get, it to, get to this in trivia, but 279 days is what I'm remembering right now of pre-production for this wow. movie, which he never did before. And also wow. this movie came after City Lights. So City Lights happened. And then he went on a 16 month tour across uh, the world, a lot, mostly in Europe. He met like Winston Churchill, Einstein, H.G. Wells, all these famous people. And basically his view on the world changed being like, well, the world's kind of fucked up right now. None of this is good. Like, what the hell am I going to do? So then he came back to Hollywood and is actually, so we're in deep in trivia now, I guess. Yeah. He was going to do, yeah, he was going to do a Napoleon movie with him as Napoleon. So he worked on that for a while. But what happened was he met, um, Paulette Goddard, who was like the, the lead actress in this, or the, you know, the woman in this movie. Mm-hmm. And he's, he like fell in love with her or whatever. You know, he's, he's 47. She's 21. Sparks are in the air. That's sort well, of thing. Yeah, she's a little old for him, but okay. Yeah. You but know, actually it's probably the biggest difference in age he's ever had, you know, cause like, well, uh, that's yeah. true. as, as a younger older. man, when he was marrying the underage people, he was a younger right, man. Right, so, you know, right. it's all about the age difference, John. You gotta know these things. Hollywood. It's a complex (laughs) equation. (laughs) (laughs) But so he he was like developing a relationship with her and he was like, I really think she should be in a movie. Because look at her face, you know, whatever he says. But like he wanted to put her face. Wasn't wrong. No. Oh yeah, she's she's pretty. Very pretty. Yeah, yeah, very pretty. For sure. Um, So this is her first like big movie. He basically like trained her to do this. Like they spent a lot of time him training her and then he wrote the movie for her. Like this whole movie was written with her in mind because he wanted to put wow. her in a movie. Hmm. And they eventually, after this movie came out, they got married, which lasted two years. Because <laughs> she was also in The yeah, Great Dictator. Right. She was also the, the lead oh, yeah. actress in The Great Dictator oh, too. Oh, okay. But during the filming of that one, she had a horrible time because he was a huge asshole during that one because he was really worried about the talkie portion of that movie because that movie was his first talkie oh. sort of thing, um, which I think we talked about during that episode. But yeah, that was that's where he was in terms of writing this movie. It was kind of just like he wanted to put her in a shaggy dress with wet hair because he thought it would look good on camera. That's basically what nice. it was. Huh. Okay. Huh. Plus the state of the world. He, he was depressed about the state of the world at the time. So he wanted to write about like the things he grew up knowing, which was living in poverty and having the police like beat up people and kill people and everyone around his level his wealth level, like fighting for work and starving and stuff like yeah. that it was all real for him. So he could relate yeah. to that. That's true. It's just interesting. You just dropped the Napoleon project, I guess, again, just because of romance. I, I just, I guess. They were, is there yeah. ever going to be a Napoleon movie? Cooper yes. is going to do there one, is one. There is one. Is there, there is one, one in, in the works. There, in the there works? is a Napoleon it's gonna, works. It's gonna, and, not going it, to work it, out. It's, it's never worked out. Uh, it is. It's with a, a well, very well-known director, too. Um, 2023. Ridley Scott. Ridley Scott. Oh. That's right. He's too old. He's too old. Jo- Joaquin, well, he remembers Joaquin, the boy. Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> He's met him. What? He's the best Joaquin, person to do it. Jo- yeah. yeah, Joaquin is Come Napoleon. On. Oh, Joaquin. Okay. Okay. Right. We get the Gladiator okay. team back together. I'll, okay. I'll watch it. Oh, boys are back in I'll town. I'll watch it. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah, jo- Joaquin Phoenix. It's coming out this year. Holy shit. Oh, uh, November wow. 22nd. This year. Oh, oh boy. Put yeah. it on the We're watching this. Oscars this year are going to be good. Yeah. You got oh, Oppenheimer. Yeah. You got Dune 2. You got Napoleon. And you got the Barbie movie coming out, you That's guys. That's right. And then you got the writer's strike. Yeah. <laughs> so nothing <laughs> yeah. next year. Yeah. Perfect Everything timing. this year is good. But next year, yeah. it's going to be Yeah, next year is going to be tough. Yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. I think. 
I if you were a writer hope. director with the writer strike going on, like, would you be shunned? You're holding pattern, holding pattern, not doing anything. Yeah. Even doing. if you're a writer director, you still need to be yeah. a part of the writer, writers guild. If you're a WGA, I mean, yeah, you, there's some stuff you could do on the side, I guess, non-union that you could do that would just be privately funded. Would but... someone like Paul Thomas Anderson, who's a writer director, would he be in the writers guild? Oh yeah, he is. Okay, yeah, so he's in the writers and directors guild. You have to be. Yeah, like, of course. They're not going out at all. They're not. Nobody's doing anything. I mean, you're working, but you're just not shooting. You're not writing for anybody else. You're doing it personally. Are you moving to Europe to work there? Can you do that? I don't know. So I, I saw that UK was question. not allowing it. So the, if anyone, if anyone question. from Hollywood moves to UK and writes there, they're getting you know blacklisted from the Hollywood. But I didn't so know it's about part of like, the same union. Then, <sighs> uh, yeah, I don't know about you know. That, there's an in, but, there's an international arts union. So like they're. They could be all part of, you know, who knows what their uh, factions they're in relation to. What's the big fucking hold up? Pay more. God damn it. It's a fucking easy answer. It's so Dude, stupid. these people are fucking sharks. What do you mean? They're shitheads. Yeah. It's, you know, it, it's the same people that I'm looking to get, you know, money from. So, like, if anyone's, uh, you know. Hopefully now out. you'll get more money because, like, they <laughs> have right, plenty dude. of these. Yeah. Fuck them. Yeah, like you call when them you, shitheads. Yeah. They, oh, they flock to you. Yeah. They love it. Yeah, They're yeah, like, yeah, we don't right. care. That, that might yeah. mean they you know maybe really right. got something to sell. He's right. Yeah. This Call kid's us. got yeah. Your confidence you know. is making me money. Yeah, this kid's right, got right. it. Crazy <laughs> knows. That's part of our formula. If you hate us, you're probably going to do good. Yeah. I got right. a raging money on right if, now. Yeah, if you don't live, if you don't, if you don't listen <laughs> oh to God. us, but you still need us and do well, you're good. You that's, know? that's a good, that's that's a good combo. Sometimes yeah. that goes bad, but sometimes good. Uh, sometimes it gets you the next yeah. thing. Yeah. You know, who knows? <laughs> that's that lie. It's always good. Fuck it. Yeah. yeah you know, I don't even know what I'm talking about. So what the hell do I know? <laughs> it sounds fucking good, though. It sounds great. Yeah. Where was I with the commentary? You were, there was this British guy. And you're really enjoying listening to him talk. Oh, yeah. Oh, before, I'm just going through my movie notes now. John, did you notice? It's, a, it's, a, it's been a long time. I think it's been years. It's been over two years since we saw a fling and cry, and it happened, and I was happy. Oh, shit. I forgot uh, about the fling and cry. Fling and cry. Back in action. Yeah, yeah. I didn't remember it either, John. The fling and cry. It's at the end when this. they're on the side of the street, and she, like, flings herself under the rock to cry about you're her situation. Right. Oh, you're right. Oh, yes, yes, oh, yes. Oh, I'm sad. I'm sad that I, I, I was out of it. I wasn't into it enough that I could have, like, recognized the I fling was and watching cry. it by myself, and I pointed at the TV. I went, ha! <laughs> <laughs> got it. Woke up Naomi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got one. It's been years. Yeah. Fling and cry. <laughs> Look. Yeah, right. Shut up, Danny. That's kind of a, I don't know. We used to have flinging cries, I feel like, multiple times a year. Well, a lot podcast. with the older films. Yeah, well, right, because we're getting lower on the list, yeah. you know? It followed by Slap Your Woman. That, yeah. was, that was also common. Yep. Well, we're done with the Hitchcock movie, so that's, uh, uh, you, you know, know yeah, not sir, as common. Yeah. Not as much anymore. of that. <laughs> you go outside when you hit her. <laughs> Thanks, Hitchcock. Great yeah. lesson. We don't do that here. You, <laughs> yeah. do, you do that, do that at outside. Home. Yeah, you take yeah. your I don't want to be financially be liable for yeah. your fucking domestic abuse. Thank That's you very right. much. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. You can domestically abuse, just not here. I so, encourage yeah, it, but right. not in here. Right. Thank right. you. Honestly, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. she needs to get in line, but just come not on. Here. Be, be a pro. Be professional. Oh come on. Yeah. We're all men around here. We're doing. We're doing business here. Come on. Right. All right. Come. All right. Official. I'm going to the part where I have to heavily edit it because. I'm going to try to cross out what I've already said. Oh, yeah, it's fine. It, it's better to have it interleaved. Agreed. Sometimes I'm not that good, though. Sometimes I'm really tired, John. I'm tired oh, right now. Oh, you just generally suck. It's okay, though. We're all moving on. But I'm getting better every time. No, oh, really? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've been so. flat for like four years. I'm more of a deterioration, <laughs> <Absolutely>. but, you know. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah. I'd like you to stay positive, but, yeah, <laughs> still. It's not really I feel like looking. the confidence brings me through, you know? <laughs> I, I know how to edit it so it, nobody knows. <laughs> I'm keeping all this in, though. That's good. That's David good. Robinson, That's good. biographer. That's the commentary guy. David Robinson. Charlie Chaplin, he planned on this being his first talkie, and they did a lot of the sets for early production in, they called it like an RCA mic room is what they called it. Like RCA mm -hmm. was the microphone back then. Mm -hmm. And you had to set up a room to be able to pick up the sound four microphones and they did all that production wise and they wrote an entire dialogue script which is different than a card script back then still and they filmed two to three they had a different word for scenes back then I'll get to it but like there was a weird word for scenes like factions or something like that but then Charlie Chaplin was like this is not working what the historian said was like 
he thought, I also don't trust this historian. So anything I tell you from this historian, grain right. of salt. Right? Suspect. So we're going to tell some shit that some sh- guy that didn't tell it real is. Yeah, well, but we got to talk. A historian so, really from, so I listen to <laughs> other hey, people's opinions know, too. Let's read. Let's and there's tell not everybody. Like, he was so secretive that it's hard to tell exactly what was going on, like in his mind or whatever. Yeah, yeah, So like yeah, people have yeah, different yeah, opinions yeah. on exactly what he thought about different things. Right, right, right. Because it's their interpretation of how they knew him. Right. I this see. guy was working off. Um, he seemed like a good historian because he was like a super nerd. And but he, he did his research. So he did his research with all the actual information. They had studio notes uh, about how many reels and what shots, like what scenes they were filming per day. So like he went backwards through like those notes and tried to like deduce what okay. was happening on the set. So, oh, um, that's cool. impressive. Yeah. And yeah. there was also like he he put that up against like the timeline of when the movie was supposed to finish wrapping versus like what new scenes they were filming and kind of like oh, backwards wow. wrote the the plot and what happened and stuff. So well, like, this guy's not so bad, Denny. Maybe being a little harsh on him. He said probably a lot. I don't like it when commentators are just like probably. This is probably oh. what happened. I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay. Ooh, whatever you say. Yeah, bud. maybe you should. Uh, yeah, because yeah. yeah, if you're trying to sell us on it, you got to be confident, right? But he hey. wasn't. I mean, I'm glad he didn't lie and say this is definitely what happened That's because true. I figured it out. But at the same time, the other, like the guy who did the document, uh, the documentary, he had different opinions on different things. So like, there is. <laughs> The There's scholars, debate. the scholars There's think debate. differently depending on whatever. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. What year they were born. Yeah. So the first two, first two to three scenes were filmed. And according to this commentary guy, Chaplin like lost his nerve. He lost his confidence in it. And just basically they're like, I don't like my voice. Like, I don't nope. think it's going to play for screen. I'm afraid for this tramp character. And this is kind of also the reason why he uh, ended the tramp character in this movie, because for the next movie, he'd be like, all right, if I'm going to do voices, Mm. I don't want like my voice to be right, associated right. with a tramp character because he had uh, done like 70 movies with a tramp character in them, which Jesus. is a lot. Insane. That's a lot with this one guy. And he still had like 30 years left after this movie. In wow. Movies. Wow. So. And it must have been hard. I mean, you think about like him worrying about sort of damaging that. Like, I mean, he is really connected to the character. This idea of like you, you could kill it. You could basically opposite of a George Lucas thing where you're going to like take new technology <laughs> and, yeah. and you're going to, you know, see, so you kind of, you understand where he's coming from, right? He's thinking that this is, this is something that's served him really well. It's very well loved. If you, if you do this, it could, it could ruin it. It could like, it, it, you know, if somebody hear, hears the tramp talk and it is all wrong, so you really see how he could be like very, very nervous about that. And it's kind of mm. epic. There's nothing else that has happened like this where he transitions from his 70 movie tramp career to playing Adolf Hitler who is right. mimicking the tramp. He's mimicking the guy who's mimicking his character in the, the next yeah, movie, yeah, yeah. right? That's right, like right. completely insane. Mm. Also look up him as a like a non-tramp character. He looks very different. Okay. Have you ever seen him as like without the little mustache and like the very black eyebrows and the mascara and the black hair? Yeah, I'd rather just keep him as that. <laughs> <laughs> he looks very different. It's weird. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to come off as annoying to you guys, but uh, this is the one line I wrote down from this commentator that I thought that I would share. Chaplin knew silent film was a misnomer. Films were never silent. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we all know that, guy. It's not fucking a literal name. (laughs) I like it. I like that. I love it. You like it? That's a great line. I know, no, it's a great line. It's perfect. It's perfect for the the annoying commentator. It's perfect. I love it. He, say, he sounds so smart in his British accent when he, he says does. it, too. He knew. But he knew. Yeah, he Films knew. were never silent. It was a misnomer. Good word. Good word. <laughs> word of the day. Yeah, oh, yeah. You are smart. <laughs> we can tell. Oh, dear. So have you ever heard of the Nat King Cole song, Smile? Oh, yeah. I've been, I heard that sure. throughout this fucking this this movie. movie. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So oh, yeah. This, this movie made that melody. Na, 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 na. I, I don't even know what song that is, but there's a song called Smile. Nat King Cole made it famous in the 50s. Michael Jackson did a version of it that was played at his funeral. And this movie created mm. that melody. Did Chaplin yep. himself create the melody? Because he Chaplin was the composer, gave, right? Well, he gave them an idea. He was like, he showed him the scene and he mentioned some, somebody who like writes orchestral music, basically. Like, I, I don't know. It was some foreign guy. I sound like an idiot. I didn't write yeah, the name down. Guy. It was some hey, guy that like writes music guy. of that style. <laughs> yeah. And he gave like yeah. a name, 
yeah. of uh, somebody who writes music and then like <laughs> an attitude for the scene. So he gave like a name and an attitude. So write and it told in this style. Them, right. And here's like, yeah, yeah. And then the arrangers came back with this melody. And then this oh, melody wow. is now apparently TZ knows very famous. Uh, oh yeah. It's a great song. My grandfather used to love that song. It's pretty crazy, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Charlie Chaplin getting uh, credit for that one. Good for him. This fucking guy, huh? He did all the roller skating. Is wow. that surprising? I didn't think that was that fantastic, but the commentator was basically I mean, just was... like the happiest he's ever been. He's like, he's 47 and he's doing this? I'm like, doing what? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I could do this and I've never roller skated in my life. Come on. I don't think you could. Not that no, smoothly. It'd take me like that. a week. Could, no, you, I don't think so. Yeah. You don't think in a week I could do that? I bet in I week, could. Oh, oh, this sounds like a bet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can do it. I used to rollerblade my paper route, dude. I'm pretty good on hey, skates on same. wheels. Mm-hmm. It's pretty it's close. You go back. Could you go backwards? Yeah, no, you can, so. you go backwards. rollerblade backwards? Oh, yeah. Like, like smoothly and turn backwards? Ice skates and, and rollerblades. Absolutely. Oh, okay, okay. If you've already got that set of skills, then I thought you said you've never roller skated, but you've rollerbladed and ice skated, so that's, yes. you'll be fine. I don't think it's the same. Man, it's I'm going to take it back. I'm going to walk back to bet. I don't want to. You, you go ahead, DC. I don't know. I see these people doing it on the fucking Venice Port. Well, it doesn't look easy. Tell you that much. Yeah. You're a skateboarder. What the fuck? You should you should think it looks easy. Yeah, I was a skateboarder. I didn't do that shit. Twinkle toe shit. Come on. If you can do it, <laughs> roller blades are cool. You Come it. on, <laughs> twinkle toes. <laughs> I don't. Can you say twinkle uh, toes anymore? Is that okay? Yeah, I think you can. <laughs> I yeah, just I'm not did. sure you're the best uh, person to ask. <laughs> I'm what's not okay the barometer. Is that what you're yeah, getting? Yeah, probably yeah, not. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, so it was a uh, mat shot that uh, roller skating scene. It took the guy, so they painted a matte shot on a glass pane. But the, uh, the cinematographer spent five days setting up that shot with that giant painted oh. glass to make sure it like looked correct uh, on the set that they built. I mean, it did look pretty good. It did. It did look good. Yeah. And then they filmed it for three days. So the setup took five. Wow. Three days of filming. That's pretty, uh, that's a lot. That's, that's cool, though. That's fun. That's a fun. That's a good one. Project. Yeah. For, mm-hmm. for a shot. This movie was know? a $1.5 million budget. Which is wow. huge for back in the thirties. Like astronomical in the day. Yeah. Like, yeah. And this was privately yeah, was, funded too. Chaplin used all of it. He was wow. an indie guy because like he just kept making money and using his own money to make bigger and, and bigger bigger projects. Films. Yeah. Right. And then all the residuals and shit goes right back to him. Was, was this smart. film successful? I don't know how to tell. No one talked about it. If you look on Wikipedia, it said it was one point five and then it made one point eight, including rentals which doesn't seem that good to me. Uh, rentals like, didn't exist back then. I know, but right Wikipedia right, right. is a weird website that doesn't like, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like a hundred like, years ago. So like they have yeah. the one slot for box office and like, what are they going to do? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what fair. that number means. But um, yeah, I, I also don't know how they measured success back then because like there weren't mm. rentals. There were like theatrical runs. There was no advertisement, at least in the way there is now where it's like double the uh, production oh. budget for advertising. I mean, he, he so. certainly wasn't broke. It didn't, there's, he I mean, was super it rich. He was the most yeah, famous person so. in the world. Yeah. It was him and Mickey Mouse were the two fam- most famous people in the world. People. <laughs> Mickey is a person. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, if you were to guess which scene took the longest to shoot, which scene would you guess? I the ask because you're not going to gonna be able to guess it. Okay. I, but you might as well not just. Not an obvious one. Yeah. Uh, no idea. I would say, hmm. how about the waiter scene at the end? Throw a scene out there. Yeah. Nope. Not that where, one. Where that was, that one was in the post production because the, uh, it was a, you know, a new ending. So that was really quick. Oh, yeah. Actually. oh yeah. We, I'm excited to learn about this dark ending. Yeah. Uh, but it so was, wait, we still need to learn what, what was it was the scene? pressing machine scene where like the watch gets flattened oh, and the jacket oh. gets flattened and which was all, again, amusing a little. Yeah. Eh. Why did it take so long? Uh, didn't say. Just it did because like the choreography was, was you know complicated and was it dangerous? Maybe I don't know. What was it sure. made out of? All that shit was rubber and wood. All the uh, the machine shop stuff was rubber and wood painted to look like mm. metal, but it probably was still mm. pretty heavy. I yeah, assume. yeah. So probably pretty dangerous. Chaplin's mustache not real, never real. It was glued on. It's a fake mustache. Ah, right. wow. I didn't know that. Did you guys know that? No. Nope. But did you care? No. Oh, no. there you go. That's, <laughs> that's the that's important the, one. That's that the first the important part. One. <laughs> yeah. So this movie came out in 36. Chaplin made a movie in 1952 called Limelight. And he went to London for the first time in 20 years for the premiere of it. And as he was on a boat to London, the U.S. revoked his like 
return visa or whatever he had. They basically Damn. said you can't come back because they were pissed off about this movie. They thought he was a communist sympathizer. 20 years later. 20 years that, later. Um, God damn. Mostly from the, so like this movie, when you watch it, it doesn't come off that way. But if you take was still it just images. Movie or did he, did he have like associations or anything else? No, that, he didn't. That, it was mostly this movie. Just, really? Yeah. Wow. It was mostly the still hmm. images from this movie. Like there's the image of him smiling, pulling the lever, which is right. him just like mocking the worker. There's the right, right. Uh, still of him getting stuck in the cogs, which is like, you know, the workers yeah. are going to get killed by the machines. And then there's right, the right. image of him leading all the workers with a flag in front of him, which right. was a joke mm. in the movie and a mistake. Which was accidental. But right. when you put a still image and you put it in a newspaper right, over right. The 10, 15, 20 years, you're going to change a lot of people's opinions. And who knows, about like, if, if uh, people who were supportive of the Communist Party at the time or whatever used those images to sort of... I mean, let, we like have they so much that, footage now know. to prove things. And still headlines with an image will change most people's minds. Yeah, right? yeah, so, right, right, yeah. Yeah. So, it's true. So they kind even of... they're fake now with the AI. Oh yeah. Even, like, literally fake images, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good We're stuff. He came back once in 1972 for a honorary Oscar. And then he died in Switzerland in 1977. On Christmas wow. Day. Was he like allowed? Like, on Christmas was, Day. On Christmas huh? Day. Yeah. <laughs> Sayonara, pal. Born on the same month as Hitler and died the day Jesus was born. You guys. Hey, you know, the guy <laughs> might have been God. Yeah. It was the second <laughs> coming of Jesus Christ himself. <laughs> yeah. No one knew. Right. He did. You killed, you killed Jesus with your talkies. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> so the original ending. Yes. Uh, that scene of him yes. going crazy was put towards the end of the movie. And when he finally came out, the, the factories were reopened and he had a second, like a third mental breakdown or a second mental breakdown. He had two mental breakdowns in the original version. And when he came to the hospital again in the second one, the, what do they call her? The woman protagonist in this movie came as a nun. She was no longer whatever the Garmin, that word. I had to look that yeah. word up, which is a yeah, street urchin, strange, apparently. Strange name. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that was very, I've never heard that before. Me either. I think it's an old word. But uh, Garmin means street urchin, which she wasn't right. even that in this movie. She was kind of just like a, a homeless person. But, um, right. hmm. but she became a nun in the time where he was in a mental institution. And she came out and tried to like change his ways or whatever. And they ended up realizing they were very different in how like their paths are separating. And they had like a, a sad goodbye. And then he goes and walks alone on the street at the end of the movie. Oh. Ah, and they shot wow. all of it and they edited it together and they were screening it for opinions. And basically, as soon as they screened it the first time, the reaction was bad. And everyone in like Chaplin's inner circle was like, you have to change the ending. This is, yeah. this is not good. Because they were coming up. We haven't seen City Lights yet, but apparently that's like a pretty happy ending. Hmm. And people liked it a lot. So they're like, oh, you so need he more was trying happy. to ride that momentum, and, and well, he wasn't he at the time. Well, no, but they were all trying to ride that momentum. Well, yeah, with the ones I mean, putting the are, money these in. Are comedies, but it sounds you know? like yeah. he Absolutely. uses this, like he had a group of people that would tell him like what was good and what was bad as he uh, made and it, he would and listen. he would, he would believe them. them. Yeah, and he would believe. Right, well, them. Yeah. that's good. So he went back and he spent a lot more money reshooting the whole cafe scene. So like they Jeez. were still editing the movie with that original ending in it, while they were like, "All right, everyone, back into the studio. We're going to shoot this huge cafe scene." Because I don't think this other ending is going to work. Oh, so the all of the all of the cafe stuff was like completely new, entire thing, completely. Oh new. wow, wow! And it was done while the movie was supposed to be finished and in editing. Wow, hmm. which is nuts because there was 250 extras and most Damn. of the shots in that scene. Yeah, wow. I'm kind of glad it ended happy. It would have been really, really weird for this movie to be very dark. Yeah, yeah. Her turning religious and then them somehow. Especially when there's not a lot of talking, I don't know. There'd be like, what would you put on the card? <laughs> I mean, what would it say there in the one sentence, abbreviated sentence? <laughs> Life is pain to, to, to demonstrate <laughs> yeah, how yeah, they right. have irreconcilable <laughs> yeah. differences. This is the most yeah. emo movie you've ever seen. I guess Dance uh, yeah. the reckoning. Yeah. Did you guys think the song he sang was in a language? I tried to turn on the subtitles to see if it would translate, and it didn't. So. I was like, all right, we're not supposed to know what he's saying. Yeah, so. yeah it sounded gibberish, but he adopted a German-sounding accent. I thought Italian for some reason when oh, I was really? watching it. Uh, it was entirely gibberish. Okay. 
That was the point. That was supposed to be the comedic bit, was that he didn't know the words, so he just had to make them up. That was why I was confused, because I was like, this isn't a different language. Is everyone in here Italian or whatever language right. this is? <laughs> right. This right. doesn't make any sense. But at the same time, watching it the second time, when it was like, it's supposed to be made up, why is everyone laughing? How do they well, know the yeah, punchline's coming? What are they laughing coming? at? Yeah. Right. Is he singing a well-known song at the time? No, they, because they the say lyrics about are it. made up. No, I know. I'm just saying that maybe the lyrics are made up, but the melody might not be, and it might they be a really said well-known something. song. The commentator oh, yeah. would have said something. He would have said something. He okay. didn't say anything. Because that's what I was sort of thinking. Huh. Like maybe this is a really well-known song at the time, and so it's really funny that he's just making up all these words. Um, they aren't words. They aren't words. Or we're making up all these non-words, but he's making up all these But I mean, for us, for me, uh, thinking it was just a different language, it wasn't yeah. funny. But imagine, like, yeah. knowing now that it's just gibberish, it's even less funny. Because now is, it like, makes his, even less sense. His little pantomimes of whatever he was singing about didn't make sense. Like, I couldn't make a story ab right. about, like, what he was no, talking no. about, right? I didn't either, but it made me think, that's why it made me think he was singing a song everybody else knew. So they knew, he he sort of knew the gist of the story of the song. So he was pantomiming it while singing nonsense. And that was funny. But you had to know what the song was and what the story was behind the song. But again, maybe it, since none of that's true either, then I don't know. <laughs> you don't know, John. You couldn't I go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these so you scholars. Don't, yep, you're right where I am. I have right, no clue scholars. what that was. Yeah. Uh, they cut the uh, the last verse. So it was one more verse for that song Jesus. when it first came out. Because 10 wasn't enough. Yeah. Chaplin, Chaplin cut it. He cut it because he was like, so in 1950s, he recut it and removed that. And he said it was because oh. he didn't think modern audiences would, uh, he said they, he thought they would be bored by such an old song is what he thought. So 14 okay. years old or like maybe 20 years old, who knows when in the 50s, but he was aware. And the commentator mm. himself was like, I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do, bud. Well, of you course. Love this shit. Right. Boy, I bet you're feeling really good about taking that mighty stand, yeah. aren't you? You yeah, brave know, man, right? you, you hero. <laughs> <laughs> Go get him, David. <laughs> you're really saying there's some original shit here, David. Good for you. <laughs> really, really. Like, stick in your neck out there. I'm going to be massacred, massacred at the next tea party. <laughs> Did you hear what I said in the latest commentary? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Very controversial. <laughs> Two words. I disagree. <laughs> and I'll say it again. No, David, no. <laughs> I'm spilling my tea. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> Not in front of the children, David. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! And this was the 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 first partner the tramp had down the old lonely road at the end, because apparently a lot of his oh. movies ended with him walking down the street by himself. Oh well, that was sort of a, a fitting a fitting end to the tramp's ends. career. Yeah, very nice. Walking off with an um a, a legal age woman. Hey, good yeah, for him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, age difference be damned. Him. Good for him, you know? Uh, yeah, one of the things that they, uh, the two commentators, or like the documentary guy and the commentator, disagreed on was there's a production shot of Charlie operating the uh, the feeding machine himself. Just like his arms on the levers and hit him operating oh, it. okay. But then the commentator didn't think that that would happen. Oh, he thought so that they probably had another guy down there, even uh, though yeah. there are production uh, shots with Charlie operating it himself. I see. Uh, I don't Controversial. It. He's a huge yeah, fan. He doesn't think it. Charlie can, you know, do the facial expressions and move his hands well, at the same time. Why, Come on. Why would you if you don't have to? Well, uh, uh, yeah, why would you if you don't well, have to? That's, except if, except that's if, you, if, if it's important to coordinate it so that you, you can't do see things your hands. at the right time. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it might be important for him to coordinate the actions of the machine with his reactions or what he does. So... Maybe it's good if he is doing it. I don't know. Both make sense. I, you know, yeah. But I, don't, I didn't either. understand the hard stance that this guy took. <laughs> <laughs> like, they have a picture of him. Like You can look it up. It yeah. looks like there's no space underneath it for another human. And Charlie okay. is holding it. Like, right. why so take a stance there? Sense. David, yeah. he's taking hard stances left <laughs> and right over here. It's again. <laughs> <laughs> um, so because this movie was so intense and the costs went up so much and the shooting schedule was so demanding, Charlie lived on set the entire shoot, which is pretty nuts because he uh, yeah, never did, I mean, had to do that before. Say whatever you want about this guy. He was a hard worker. He was. 147 days of filming. Oh. 200, so it was 263 days of pre and post production. So sorry. I was wrong about that. It was pre and post production. That's still 410 days. 
But also at the same time, it was the shortest since his one of his 1923 movies because it was so expensive to like shoot longer at the time. But 410 mm. days for him were short for a movie. Oh my god, it's wow. insane! Because like you said, he could I guess he could just go in there and riff forever, and it was cheap. Yep. Right. So yeah, I mean, and then then he could come up and then, then yeah, wow. So the times they were a changing. Modern times, not, guys. Not, you know, yeah, it's pretty yeah, meta. Modern times. Not just the talkie, not just the talkies part, but just the cost of operations mm, being different. Like changing the way he has, like forcing him to change the way he has to make films. And we haven't even had a movie about the pandemic yet, guys. Oh, oh that'll well, be interesting to see. Well, we kind of had The Last of Us. It was <laughs> but they made that game before the pandemic happened. I There's know, a bunch of sci fi that, know. like, you know, did something similar to what happened, but like, no one's made, you know, the pandemic, a representation the, of the yeah. pandemic. Yeah. You know? the. Right. It's going to be, yeah. you know, potentially Those awesome as, years when they allowed hybrid work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Right. That's right. Depending uh, on your industry, they still allow it sometimes. Uh, it's pretty good. It's dying. It's dying. It's going it's away. It's dying. Uh, oh, it's no. Dying. I'm good. I'm steadfastly working from home. Oh, That's I'm, great. yeah. I'm never going back. To that, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Spoiled generation right here. Yeah. That's yeah, true. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. All right, top two fifty guys. Mm. No, I don't think so. I, I'm I'm still close just because of its its relevance, how interesting it is, it with his, where he's at in his career, how this is him, his last non talky. I don't know. Mm. All of that is is really interesting, but still no. Yeah, it's definitely not like a bad movie or anything like that. It's yeah. just kind of boring and mm-hmm. old. It's relevant. Mm. It's historically relevant. Yeah. And if you look into it, you can see how it changed a lot of things and how new it was for the time. But at the same time, we're talking running horse to 2001 Space Odyssey. It's like running horse. It's over there. <laughs> it's on that side yeah. of the scale. It's on that side. Yeah. Mm. But yeah. It hasn't aged for what it is. It hasn't aged that badly. It just, I don't know. It, it just seems very simple and repetitive, but it, it still looks pretty good. Um, it's still pretty understandable mm. what's going on. And the sets look good. The shots look good. All that. But yeah, that's true. It's a low bar, but hey, we've watched some weird ones on this list. So you, don't, you never know. We have. We yeah. have. So what are we doing next week, guys? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know either. It's a good question. Talked about the Colors Trilogy. Let's do that. If we go, if we Colors go right Trilogy. Next, do it. Zone, do right. it. Done. Done. We're doing it. Done. Let's not done. even talk about it. Let's just fucking, fucking do done. it. Making right. decisions <laughs> over here. <laughs> fucking doing podcast. I hope I don't get right blamed now. when we get stuck Done. to three films in a row that we might not like. They're all in fringe. If the first one sucks, we can stop. How about that? Okay, how about that? We we can make a judgment. Uh, how, call who's gonna each who's one. gonna call that? We need a majority well, yeah, vote. As a, Two group, out of three. as a group. Two out of three. So if you're if you're the only one, so, so what are we gonna so send sorry, a text CC. on? <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna send a text on uh, fucking one day or something and say? Well, the way we're doing update? it, we're going week to week basically. So basically, we can just go into the podcast and at the oh, end. They, I, I thought it was three that make up like one thing. So it's no, three, three movies. movies, three separate movies. Oh, cool. All right, yeah. so let's start with overlap. number one. If it yeah. sucks, then we, we yeah. won't go. What's around the first one? one? Which color is the first one? Uh, <laughs> Come on, John. Three colors. White. <laughs> White is the first one? I, I think. Blue I is the remember. leftmost color on the flag, so it's probably blue. Yeah. Huh. Wait. So that would make sense if it follows the color from the right? I think it's all about France, isn't it? It is. Blue, white, red. Yeah, it's the flag. Okay, <laughs> that makes so, sense. This guy right. had thought it out, you know? He you guys, at least he, he aligned the movies with yeah. the colors of the flag left to right. So let's go blue. 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 The film is called Blue. Already, it's that's, called that's, Three that's, Colors that's, Blue. That's carrying a lot. No, no, is it called Three Colors Blue? Like right at the beginning, he knew it was Three Colors Blue. Yeah, or was this is like it a project. Blue? Um, yeah. So right from the beginning, he knew this is what he was doing. Yeah. It's cool. Okay. Okay. Let's, Let's do go. it. Sweet. We're going full art house here, guys. We're going on All that. Right. There's, you know, this is the IMDb. This is the pop culture list, and then we're going to like the reviewers' best two fifty oh, list. This is where this is. All right, strap this is, in, boys. Yeah. Up there. Prepare so yourself strap for in. slow. Slow and confusing, I think, is what we should prepare ourselves for. <laughs> okay. That seems Jesus. to be what critics like. <laughs> oh, <laughs> great. Yeah. My favorite. Yeah. Right. Cece's going to be, uh, he's going to be lobbying one of us to like say right. no after this one. Yeah. Hey, we'll look, see. if hey, you, you say no bucks. this time, if you say no this time, I will do X for the next <laughs> six months. 
Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, we're not watching the second two. Anyway, we'll see. I'm, I'm expensive. We'll see how it goes. Oh. Ah. Yeah, I've heard that about you. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, guys. All right, guys. Talk to you next week. We'll see, see you later. later.